This video is going to cover the benefits of designing your albums with smart objects. There will come a time in your career where after designing an album, a client will request that an image be replaced with another one. Well, generally, that's why we save PSDs and JPEGs so we can go back to the PSD file and then replace our image as they requested. But you still have to redo all your layer styles and realign and retransform. And it's just basically kind of a hassle. But what if I told you that by using smart objects in basically one step, you could replace an image with all the scaling transformations that you applied, all of the layer styles and position. So let's take a closer look at that. I'm going to hide this here get rid of my guides and I've got my blank canvas and I'm going to drag a couple images onto it. Just like that. Now before I do anything I need to convert all of these images into a smart object. So before I do any transforming whatsoever, I'm going to select the layer, right click, and convert to smart object. And right away on the layers palette you'll see a slight change because in the bottom right hand corner of the thumbnail you get this smart object icon here. So now that they're all smart objects, I'm going to select all their layers and I'm just going to transform them all just so that I can see them at a smaller size and I can play around with them a little easier. I'm control clicking on the images to select their layer. Alright, it's a little, little smaller but I can transform them just a tad smaller. Align them in the middle here. And that's basically good enough for now. So I'm going to duplicate one of these layers. Oops. And then I'm going to rasterize it, essentially turning it into a regular image, not a smart object. Just to show you that if I were to transform this and make it very small, and then change my mind and transform it back again. See now the pixels are all very soft since Photoshop had to basically do its best to resample this image up to a larger size again. So that is why you use smart objects. Think of a smart object as basically an indestructible container that houses the original file or the original image. So you can transform it as many times as you want and nothing will happen to the image. So I'll transform this really small. And then I'll make it quite large again and you can see I lost no detail because it is a smart object and it is non-destructive. So let's add a bunch of layer styles here. I normally do not ever add a drop shadow to my albums, but we'll add one this time just so we can illustrate smart objects a little more. We'll add a black stroke here. And then I'm just going to hold Alt, that's Option on a Mac, and drag all those effects to the other layers. So now I've essentially got my page all designed and I've got all these layer styles applied to these images and they're positioned just like I want them. And now the client would like this right hand image right here replaced with an image where you can see the full figure. So this is where the really cool part of using smart objects to design your album comes in. So I'm going to select that layer and I'm going to double click 
on the image thumbnail itself. That's going to bring up this small dialog. You just hit OK. And this brings up essentially that original unedited image. So now what I'm going to do is I've already have this file open, but you would just navigate on your hard drive to where the image is that you would like to replace this with. And then I'm just going to drag this on top of this original file here that I just opened up, the smart object file. You can see now I have two layers. This one is above this original layer here. Well, I'm going to keep it that way, and I'm just going to hit Save, Control S, and close it. Now when I go back to my album here, it automatically updated that image in the same exact spot with all my layer styles in the same position and the same free transform scaling that we did. And if I had multiple copies, we'll put this one Shrink it down here. I'll add another copy just to show you one more time. Now I'm going to edit this image and we'll just convert it to black and white. Hit save, close, and every instance of that smart object has been updated because that's essentially what it is. Once you duplicate the layer, you're creating another instance of that smart object. So save yourself some time, and when you're designing your albums, use smart objects so that way in the future, if there are any edits, you can simply double click the smart object, drop the new image in, and since this image has two layers, if I hide that layer, then click save again, you can see that my original or my album page here updates once again with this new smart object.